Inaugural Miss Wayaka pageant to crown Miss Wayaka 2017. Chef Choice Ragamuffin Toe Food Balls. The Beauty of Fashion charity fashion event. Viva la Comida, an annual food and cultural festival hosted by the 82nd Street Partnership to celebrate Queen's diversity. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The search to find Miss Wayatka 2017 ended on September 23rd with the inaugural Miss Wayatka pageant. Nine contestants aged 17 to 26 represented Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba and the Bahamas. Scholarships, trips to the Caribbean, Cash and other prizes were added, incentive to enter in Wyatka's 50th anniversary celebration pageant. The royal event took place at Prospect Heights High School in Brooklyn. There's a panel with some judges also. I'm getting in your mind a little bit. What do you think they're, they're looking for tonight if they have ideas? Well, the judges have very specific guidelines on what to look for to crown a Miss Whitaker. So hopefully they'll be looking for that particular something that makes her stand out from the rest. That certain thing that no other girl has in choosing the new Miss Whitaker. The focus for crowning was placed on overall appearance, self-confidence, poise, sense of style, personality and stage presence, grooming, modeling of gown in terms of technique and the beauty she brings to the gown. While evening wear is important, each contestant also competed in swimwear, carnival costume, talent and on-stage questioning. Contestant must be articulate with excellent conversational skills. She must be able to express herself clearly and diplomatically, have the ability to communicate to the audience, and must be able to state her opinion in a positive, decisive manner. What is the most important part of the competition? <laughs> Thank you for that question. Um, in my opinion, the most important part of this competition is diversity. Um, I feel like everyone here is a great representation of the island or country that they're representing and it's great to see people in a great light um, with talent, beauty, intelligence. Contestant were judged on technique, performance and showmanship, appearance and costume, staging and choreography and overall impression. While the use of colors, skills such as wired bending, decoration, use of material will impact and scoring in the costume category. More than anything, the enthusiasm of the contestants' portrayal of costume was a factor. These stunning beauties got to show off their flawless figures during the swimsuit round of the event. In every category, each contestant carried herself with dignity, grace, poise, and elegance. Special awards went to the most photogenic, the first runner-up, and Miss Congeniality. Drum roll, please.
Jamaican born Chef Troy shows off his cooking skills at the Island Ballroom. Yeah, man, you don't know you're watching Come Chat with me. See, and today we're inside of the kitchen here yeah, of the Island Ballroom and stand next to Chef Chai himself, is it? What are you doing, big man? Oh, so I'm there, do Blessings, man. There, give thanks to you. Come chat with you in the kitchen, you know? That's the thing, man. You don't know how to long talk in my day, I'm so still, you know? You don't know if so you have something to whip up, you know, nicely and thing. You know? What is on the menu today? You know, say, I don't have a muffin, tofu balls, we are going to use today, serve it with some garlic mash yam and yeah. green banana, you know it, go? Alright. Fish and Jamaica style, you know? So run the thing then, man, we're not keep up the, keep the time no longer. See, see what I go on. Alright, so what we have here today is some firm tofu. And we have our firm tofu, we just kind of squash it out a little bit. And you know, our thing, you know, we always have to have our seasoning and our spice. So what we have here, we got some red bell pepper. We're going to add to it some green bell pepper. Don't know, we have a ginger. We have some ginger. We have some thyme to it. We have some scallion. We have some yellow bell pepper. And we have some scotch bunny pepper. Simple as that. And for the spices now, we have some hard spice. Our people call it pimento. We have some salt and pepper. Not too much, you know, our thing. We have some Cajun spice. And some old beer. Basically, that's it, you know. Let's combine it together. And the thing that we use to hold our binding agent, we usually use some breadcrumbs. So I use the Japanese pinko breadcrumbs just to hold it together, you know? And it's simple as that, man. And you know my thing already, we always have to make sure say, our thing looks sexy, so we ball them out nice and easy, you know? And it's simple as that, you just put them in the air fryer, you know, and drop them in the fryer and get it cooked well easy. And we have some that we have pre-made right here already, that we have fried. So we're going to make the sauce to go with it. Our sauce, we have some coconut milk. You know already, at the kitchen you know, you can't get through that, you know, big. You know, add that to it. And we have some pumpkin. So add the pumpkin to it. So that's for some pre-cooked pumpkin. Add our pumpkin to it to make that sauce. While that gets simmer, we're gonna add a little bit more of this bell pepper that we had left over. And some more bell pepper. Our skeleton. Scotch bonnet pepper, you know, we love with pepper spice and everything. Some more garlic. And some more thyme. Simple as that. I'll we'll just bring that to a nice boil. You see the direction we're going to Ziggy, right? Yeah, man. Just bring it to a nice boil. All the flavor, right? I'll just give it a little bit of season, you know, and hold it because you don't know it having all of the flavors of the herbs already. Salt and pepper. A little bit of allspice. That's basically it, you know. Simple ragamuffin, and then we just add our tofu bars to it. Just add our tofu bars to it and give it a nice simmer. And while that is simmering, take a little break and come back and show, show you how we plate it and we come back, isn't it? I know say, your man a cook or what? Because come like say, the way the man spice the thing, like the man pan cooking, you must have play some ball first. Or, you, you love cricket and everything before you come to the cooking, man. Well, what go on? Give a look at history about it. You know, sir, honestly, um, it all started, you know, at early age of eight, you know. Eight, really? Eight, really? You know, yes, man, because we have, we have a one sibling at that age. We have yeah. a one sibling and a little sister, she just born and 
But brother, him, him, the younger one, follow me. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we used to have to prepare, you know, a quick snack for him when mommy got to work. I was about eight years old, man. My stepfather, him feels sick. Yeah. And him have a restaurant, you know? Him See have it. a little restaurant, him have a go on. And him feels sick one day, man. And him say, yo, listen, I'm going to want you to put this yeah. and this spice and this flavor. This amount of scotch bonnet, this amount of this and that in other part. Yeah. And I just go to the restaurant and I deal with it, man. And See. I tell the people who are surprised to know. Not for them never not for them doubt me. They never know some me we actually cook. Yeah. yeah man. And you know so from this so we kinda just more geared towards cooking. You know just want to fry eggs, I'm only for chicken and I'm asking and everything. You know really depend on cooking there. What, what's the type of cooking you really are specializing? Well honestly, honestly we have we have a thing we come out with now in spice of my hand, taste of my hand. Taste of my hand is a campaign that I'm branching out, you know, making people know because I've been in people's house cooking at private events. So I'm, you know, giving, giving it a name, giving it a brand yeah. where a person could just hire me to come cook in their house and, you know, I'll definitely let them taste my hand. Yeah, man, the chef do him thing. You see me, I say, nice and easy, just like that. Chef, where is the one in here, man? What a spicy name again? I have the ragamuffin tofu bars, man. Chef try ragamuffin tofu bars and we serve with a garlic mash yam and some green banana, you know? Simple, easy dish, you know, for all vegan and vegetarian. Yeah. Nothing to it, man. One, two, three. You're welcome to another episode of Street Buzz New York. Yeah, you don't know, I'm your host, Ziggy Blessing. And see this week, we're going to talk to the Caribbean people them who live in America. And we're going to find out from them what is that one thing them like about living inside of America. See? So keep it locked right here, Street Buzz New York. What's your name, my brother? My name is Devante. Where are you from? St. Vincent and Grenadines, born and raised. All right, I love that. My question is, what is that one thing you love about living here in America? I ain't going to lie, it's the diversity. The reason why I say that, because you can meet any Trinidadian, Grenadian, any way, on any block. That's what I like about America. It's a very diverse place. You know, it's, um, how you say, different lifestyle. Back home, I mean, I'm more of a... A West Indian child, I like the floor, I like to just be free. But up here, there's little rules, but you always meet someone different, a different face. Welcome, my brother. Respect for everything. Respect, respect, my dogs. What are going on? For real, man. What's my name? Them call me Screw Dog, a.k.a. Daddy Wise. Yes, Daddy Wise. Screw Dog, let me know. Yeah. All right. Sean. Sean, Sean Cooper. Yeah, man. All right, Sean. Respect. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Maxfield, Kingston 13. St. Andrew. America good man. It, you know, girls will love all the islanders. Yeah. You get enough education if you want education. Yeah. You know? And the biggest thing about my life in America, yeah. I met my first daughter in America. So yo, that's how blessed. Shana, a daddy Sean, daddy wise, <laughs> princess lyrical. I just how it stays, I say. Walk on my brother. What I'm bridging, why do you with anything? Everything nice, man. Where are you from? I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, basically, what I like about America is the American women and money. So, I'm um, to the Jamaican woman, then we are the, we are the disrespect the other man, them. Nah, I mean, I disrespect my own women, but at the end of the day, you know how Jamaican women are, bridging. No, sir, so I'm mean, not know them, man. Boy, they feisty, man. They fighters, <laughs> like Trini women, boy. They, they, they want to be boss, boss, and you know what I mean? Respect, my brother. What's your name? Hello, my name is Wendell. A.K.A. King Kayak Dancer. Seen? Where are you from, brother? Originally from Grenada, but I live in Brooklyn. The best thing for me, I would say, is the, um, the abundance of opportunities. Cool. Yeah. We say opportunities is like what? So, cause Jamaica have only opportunity to you know. We are talking about Jamaica have enough opportunity, man. So we are talk. Tell me. Well, for for me, I'm I'm a, I'm an artist, so yeah. I definitely feel like if you want if you want your art to be taken seriously or just further further your career in some some form of art. Yeah. There's many different avenues you can take here. You can you can be a, a visual artist. You can be um, a, a recording artist. You can be a dancer. You can be um, honestly whatever you want to be. Because this, this honestly, people say this is a place where you can do whatever. Yeah. Once you can get once you can captivate an audience, you can captivate you can captivate people's minds easily, and you know how to sell that. <laughs> you create the opportunity for yourself. Okay, I like that. I can still feel my culture, the music, the beautiful people. So it's still got the nice vibe and the energy. Yeah. So even though you're away from home, you still feel at home. Okay. Yeah. And where is home? 
Well, I was born in England. My parents are from Jamaica, and I know I'm an African, so home is where the heart is. Wherever I go, I bring my culture with me. And wherever I am, I always like to reach out and find my people. The Beauty of Fashion Charity Fashion event showcased four designers at this year's Cosmo Girls Glam event. Cosmo Girls Glam event and Don Carmelian Productions presented the Beauty of Fashion Charity fashion event at the beautiful Penthouse 6 and rooftop located in the Art of Soho and designer shops. A portion of the proceeds were donated to the fight against childhood cancer. The event was hosted by Mary Driven celebrity PR and featured collection from nine-year-old twin designers Deya Chanel and Deya Hanna with their almanized design. Ghanaian designers Yabo Teng with his Boyani collection and Mimi Yabo. Last but not least, Sheldon Shirley with her S. Garvey collection. Almond Eyes Design, Nisha Nelson and Diana Nelson. One day, I was on the train heading to New York for a fashion show, and I was supposed to be writing like my ABC stuff, but then I started to draw a really nice design. So my mom was like, wow, that's really nice. And then when we got to the fashion show, the lady said, wow, can you draw 15 more pieces for me? So I was like, yeah, sure. So then after that, we had to find a teacher to sew my clothes, and then two years later, Diana joined, and we were just so happy after that that we started designing and getting more into fashion shows. collection that's my line and I'm wearing it right now um, I just took a part in this awesome fashion show and the models were amazing the energy was amazing I did two collections like in one that I showed tonight and then tomorrow I'm actually shooting my lookbook so um, a lot of what I do is like wearable couture that's what I call it 
So sexy pieces, but also pieces that can transcend to other, um, you know, any type of other event. Viva La Comida is a festival highlighting the cultural diversity of Queens. Combining food with music, art, dancing, entertainment, and more on the streets known for its outpouring of vibrancy. Second Street Partnership. We are business improvement district in Jackson Heights in Queens. And every year we organize the Viva La Comida Festival. It's a festival devoted to food, music, and art. But most importantly, it's about cultural diversity and unity among the different communities. Every year we bring vendors through, mostly from Queens, but some throughout the city, to serve some of the unique dishes. And some of them are rare, like we have some grilled tripe this year. Um, but are things that come from all different parts and regions of the world. Uh, we also have a amazing stage. Uh, most, of Latin, most of the artists are from Latin America and they're well-known artists in New York City. So this is a wonderful festival and I'm very proud of the participants, our sponsors and everyone that's here with us today. watching come chat with me new york's number one caribbean lifestyle magazine we will close the show with crucials fresh out music video see you next week I have a